My prayer every day is for the Anglophone crisis to come to an end. Because many people are taking advantage of the Anglophone crisis to do terrible things in Southern Cameroon against Southern Cameroonians. The money will be taken for cemetery in Amos. Amos? So now, now the worker use Amber name for town now. You've been a fight away, we don't fight. You left you struggle, sister, not to fight now. Yeah. For pleasure, we have good money. Do you have to report? Yeah, today the 24th. November. November. As soon as this year, so. And the Bamenda Brigade. You are not. Check it out. That's the people there, they work and use Amber in name for town. Came through by 7 million. They don't collect money. The money you want to collect, and how much? Talk me the year, and how much? 2.7 million with them collector for business person for town. Say them be amber them. Hello and welcome to TF8 Analysis. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. And many Southern Cameroonians, if not all, don't know whether they should be finding food or trying not to get killed, no matter where they are in Cameroon. Living in southern Cameroon is like living in hellfire because you don't know what awaits you. The people of southern Cameroon don't know whether they should be finding food or trying not to get killed by their own brothers or sisters. The people of southern Cameroon don't know whether they should be finding food during this hard time or try not to be kidnapped by their own brothers. The people of Southern Cameroon don't know whether they should be struggling to survive in this terrible time that the whole world are passing through terrible things or struggling to escape from the trap of the military, escape the trap of the Amazonians, fighters or escape the traps of armed robbers who have disguised under Amazonia fighters or to escape the trap of those guys that the government set at the DDR centers who are appointing people and naming the Amazonia fighters or to escape the trap of Moja Moja. These are the people the Southern Cameroonians are struggling and praying every day to narrowly escape from their trap. But many are still falling victims because these guys are holding guns. This guy has so much power. The videos you just saw are some Southern Cameroonians who decided to join the and increase the suffering of the people of Southern Cameroon. Forcing people to give them money that they are Amazonian fighters. This is what the people are passing through. Many people are, are, are gaining from the, from the Anglophone crisis. Taking advantage of the Anglophone crisis. We saw what happened this week in Awe. Where two people were killed. One, a popular driver, and his vehicle burnt down. They say they don't know who killed him. People took advantage of the Anglophone crisis to kill him and one other person. These guys that you saw in this video, they took advantage of the Anglophone crisis and telling people that they are Amazonian fighters, taking millions from the people in this hardship where everybody is crying all over the world. They are taking advantage of the Anglophone crisis. Those in the diaspora are taking advantage of the Anglophone crisis. And today they are super rich. 
because of the Anglophone crisis. Military are taking advantage of the Anglophone crisis to increase their rank and also to, to become rich because the government have directed all the revenues, taxpayer money into the military who are in southern Cameroon and becoming or saving as a military in southern Cameroon is a very short way, shortcut to become rich. And that is why any military at any time wish to be there, even if he would die. I still left with this one question. That as asking the military of the Cameroon government or the Cameroon government and the Amazonia leadership and Amazonia fighters, whether they still believe that they will ever end the Anglophone crisis militarily. I will still say it again and again that they cannot. The military of the Cameroon government or the Cameroon government will never defeat the Amazonia fighters militarily. I say it again that Amazonia is an ideology. The Amazonia fighter, no one day will you ever defeat the military of the Cameroon government militarily. No one day. So if this is the truth, why are you people keep on? Why will you people keep on fighting? And terrible people are taking advantage of what you people are claiming to do terrible things. To, do, to these innocent Southern Cameroonians. Taking advantage to increase the pains and the suffering these people have been passing through for all these years. But you people keep on allowing them. Because if you people want to prove and shame many people, stop the crisis. Stop the violence way of solving this particular crisis. If two of you stop, the wicked people will be exposed. But if you people keep on, maybe because of what you guys are gaining from it, then many people will be gaining also. And the innocent ones will be suffering. If you genuinely stand that you want to fight for one Cameroon, then you should do it genuinely without giving advantage to any other people. And that, on, that way is only through the table. If you want to stand to fight for the pre freedom of the people of Southern Cameroon, that they should live as independent people, you should do that without creating openings, channels, through which wicked people will take advantage, thieves will take, uh, take advantage over the innocent people of Southern Cameroon. Fighting and identifying them, holding and torturing them will never end. Because even the military, the police, the Yandans, all over the world have struggled by all possible means for seeing the creation of humanity to stop stealing. They have never succeeded. Not you will do it. The only way is to close and reduce the challenge through which people take advantage. They did not break into people's houses. They say they are Amazonian fighters. And see, nobody knows who is an Amazonian fighter. They believe in them. And they gave them so much money. Millions of France CFA. If you are an Amazonian fighter, or an Amazonian leader, or an Amazonian supporter, tell me how we can solve this particular problem. If you are a military, tell me the secret that you still believe that this crisis will end militarily. People are dying. People are suffering. People are living in hell. It is so painful seeing your own people suffering year in, year out. It is so terrible. That people are living without any guarantee. Not because they are afraid of natural catastrophe, but they are afraid of you who claim to be his brother. The government of President Pobia. 
the Amazon leaders. I am pleading with you all to have pity on these people. And stop the Anglophone crisis. 